Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. You know, uh, I just got, as you noticed, I did just get this from Vernon. It's the, it's the Gomex's um, jigging reel. And I tend to use this, I'm gonna try using it for short casting. You know, not nothing big, not, nothing like big GTs, things like that, but just typically off the pier, you know, for like small jacks, regular size jacks, bonefish, basically bonefish. So I would like to get this ready. Plus, uh, from that, I can uh, use it jigging off the boat. Now, this is rated for 490 yards of 30 palm braid, just a hair under 500 yards. That's a lot. Now, if I, if I was to go from 30 all the way up to 50 palm braid, that's 300 yards of braid. So, I think I'm going to take the in-between. I'm going to go 40. Now... A lot of people say, oh, you're going to set lines on the inner reefs with 40? Yeah. I, I rarely get my braid cut because I, uh, when I use braid, I stay away from areas of high coral formations. Now, being a diver myself, uh, I know just by looking and by experience what areas have uh, to park, underwater topography like that. So what I do is I tend to stick to more of the flatter coral reefs, um, uh, sandbars, um, alluvial areas. So you have to pick and choose your areas. Um, this is not the kind of reel you want to use in real reefy, reefy areas. You want a really big reel with a massive spool for that line. But I will um, get this ready because, you know, it's nice to look at, but you need it ready. So I'm going to use my spooler here. I'm going to figure out what line, and I think I'm going to use 40 pound braid. So it should be around the four, roughly around the 400 yard mark. Okay, I found where I kept all my spools, and uh, this here is the 40, that's the 30. You can look at, um, the lines are almost identical just by eyeballing it, but I'm telling you, when you actually pick it up and feel it, the, the 40 is a lot beefier than the uh, 30, way beefier. So I think that's my decision is made. I'm going to go with the 40. Okay, so first I'm gonna put some tape onto the spool because it's just bare metal. It's just gonna slide on it if I don't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead with the 40. This is a soft steel brand. Um, I'm gonna attach a counter, digital counter to my spooler there so I'll know what kind of yardage I'm looking at. Some braid scissors, all ready okay, to even go. Even though I have a motorized spooler, it's only motorized for spinners, not for conventional types which is like you know big casters conventional reels so it's going to be a little bit time consuming but i'm just going to twirl this on and i'll uh, fast forward this. Now look at that. That is probably like one sixteenth of an inch, right up, right up to the edge here. And I'm gonna stop there because I'm gonna put on a top shot of mono. I was thinking maybe putting a top shot of forty pound on it. I don't know, not too long, maybe ten meters. That way, uh, less chance of the line cutting on something closer to the knot. What do you think? Okay, I just took uh, eight very long arm lengths of some soft steel this is the uh ultra premium mono 40 pound so i just took eight really generous arm spans off of this so we're going to put 40 on 40. i think i'll use a double uni You need, you need. 